Welcome to Classic Valley Investors and Microcap Explosions. Today I'm making a video um, in the Why Is This a Great Business video series. Today I'm covering a company called Expel. And you know, Expel is a great business, but one other reason that I wanted to do this video is to show you guys what it is that you're missing if you are not looking at micro caps or small cap companies. And Expel is a perfect example. If you look at Expel's stock over the last five years, right now it's about 55. If you look at it actually max, if you look at it for like the last 10 years, so from 2009, okay, the stock went from two pennies to now $55. So 55 divided by two pennies. That's almost 300 X. Okay. For a fabulous company. So, so not 300, almost 3000 X. So $10,000 invested times 3000 X that gets you to $30 million. Okay. That is absolutely insane. And now, what this company does is they provide a paint protection on vehicles. So as you can see here, if you want to cover the front, front, front of the car with a paint protection film like this, or if you want to cover half of the car with, with such a paint protection or uh, full of a cart with such protection. And now, to, the, the, the cost to cover the entire car like this is about four to five thousand dollars and then the cost to cover half of the car is about two grand and just to do the to do the front is like two hundred dollars now you might ask yourself because I asked myself many times why would anyone spend this much money to to uh, to protect the paint of someone's car I would never do this but when you're talking about having expensive cars like BMWs or Audis and even Teslas, it's popular for Teslas. When people pay so much money for, for the car, they don't mind spending an extra $5,000 to, to protect the paint of their entire car. And what makes this business uh, so wonderful is that, you see, to, to cover this car, um, it takes a lot of labor. Okay, and the cost of the protection film itself is not is not a very big cost. Consequently, the auto detailing shops are not very uh, price sensitive when it comes to purchasing the film. And Expel do, do, has a little competition, but it doesn't have a lot of competition. So, but what's also so special about Expel is that Expel used to be a software company a software company that was designing uh, car patterns and then it transitioned into selling the protective film but it already had a library of about 80,000 car patterns so if you are a um, auto detailing shop and if you have two choices buy buy a paint protection film from a company and buy a paint protection film from Expel and also get a car pattern, um, you will absolutely go with Expel because uh, having already a car, uh, a car pattern with the software that Expel provides makes it very fast and easy for you to apply and cut out the, the, the film to apply it on a car like this. So the fact that Expel used to be a software company and has this library of car patterns, it gives it a competitive advantage. And that's why the company is able to build a huge network of auto detailing shops that want to carry its products. And also because uh, people are quite aware of this brand, they actually request um, requested from the car detailing shop so it's kind of like a 
the mode comes from a network effect and then the mode also comes from uh, uh, from the brand but also switching costs because the auto detailing shops once they have expel software and patterns they, they don't want to go and and try someone else's so there is significant um, switching costs and if you look at the uh, from Morningstar the operating uh, metrics you can see that the returns are on equity are just absolutely astronomical it's like 50 percent and so the gross margins are not as huge as they are for like adobe that we discussed but still very respectable 33 percent and then net margin is 11 percent but the the returns are on equity are just unbelievable and i actually if you if you read this book how to profit from the coronavirus recession on page 67 um, I actually wrote about this company in the book and this was here when uh, you know March April when it was about nine dollars and so it's been like a more than five beggar since I published it in the book I became aware of this company much earlier when it was trading I became aware of it when it was trading here um, like uh, in 2018 when it was trading for about three dollars so from that point it's almost a 20 beggar now the thing that I want I want you to guys to be aware of is that only recently expel as you can see uh, what is it? Uh, 7 17 2019. Only recently, less, less than, oh, well, a little bit more than a year now, the company announced listing on NASDAQ. Now, so that's middle of 2019. Right here. Middle of 2019. Okay. Now, the moment the company became tradable, on Nasdaq look what happened to it it went up 10x okay don't tell me that the company is becomes more valuable in one year by a multiple of 10 it's not possible and now before that the company was trading on TSX Venture but because TSX Venture doesn't have the same um, prestige a lot of people cannot invest a lot of funds cannot invest on TSX venture but it's the same company so those investors that had didn't have this kind of restrictions they could have they invested in this company and I know some people that invested very very low like 10 cents but they weren't scared of this company being a micro cap they weren't scared that it was trading on TSX Venture because they were focusing on the business. And then they knew that at some point when the business gets big enough, it will be tradable on NASDAQ. And that's exactly what happened. And those people made huge amounts of money. You see, guys, when you can find companies that are fa fantastic companies, like this one, for example, that are trading on TSX Venture, and you know that at some point in the future, the uplisting will happen to NASDAQ. It's like the easiest way to make money. It's like a free arbitrage. And actually right now, on microcap explosions, I have about three or four companies that are exactly in the same shoes. They are fantastic companies, but they are trading on lower level exchanges. Either they are trading at TSX Venture or they are trading on OTC. But they're fantastic businesses, beautiful modes, revenue, real revenue, real customers. And I know because I've talked to the management that within the next 12 or 24 months, they will become uplisted to NASDAQ. So I'm buying them now because they are very, very cheap because mostly people are not paying attention to them because they're on these exchanges. And when they when they go on NASDAQ, they're going to because you know they're superb businesses they're gonna get re-rated by you know 5 to 10 X just by that and then I am planning to hold them even when they're on NASDAQ because they have a very very long uh, growth runway but 
you know, Excel is a perfect example why you guys, you know, don't just uh, say, oh, I don't invest in, in small companies. It doesn't matter about the size, okay? It doesn't matter where they trade. It's actually very, very um, favorable if they actually trade on TSX Venture or, or OTC because they're being ignored. And with the case of Expel, it was trading on TSX Venture along with all the mining companies, all the companies that are like biotech or don't have any revenues. You have to you have to sift through them and find the good ones. Find the ones that have something special, and then, and then, you know, you're being offered a very reasonable price for them. And when you know they they do what they do, which is uplist to higher exchange, those stocks explode. If we look at um, Expel's 2009 results, and we see uh, revenues of about you know, 112 million, and then net income of almost 14 million, and you compare it to to the market cap of 1.5 billion. So based on revenues, it's trading at like 15 times revenues, okay, or 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 100 times net income. This is what happens when when great companies trade on, you know reputable exchanges they become expensive or reasonably priced there is no way you can get a really really it I, I don't want to say no way it's very rare that you can get a very very good deal that is so obvious on the reputable exchanges that you can get on OTC or TSX venture but you have to pay attention to the business what is the business worth? Is the business, does the business have something special? Um, does it have a moat? Does it have growth? Is are there switching costs? It's, I mean, it's it's just a. I I just don't understand why more people don't choose that route because it's simply one of the easiest easiest ways and very low risk ways of making money. So anyway, so that's it for this video. This is Expel. I hope you enjoyed it uh, it's a great business um, some people made a lot of money on it and i hope that you actually bought some shares after you read my book on how to profit from the coronavirus recession so have a good day